my eyeshadow looks really dark but I swear it's actually not that dark it's just the light anyways hello I'm Anna Mae and today I'm going to every maybe not every single but most of the charity shops in my town doing a little thrift loop um, just doing a little bit of secondhand shopping so if you're new here I've actually done this before I will link the video in the cards um, basically I think it's the case in through a lot of Europe but it definitely is the case in Ireland and prob and in the UK as well I'm quite sure is that we don't have massive thrift stores they're not huge big warehouse situation you know really large footprint type of places they're really small and they're often like in our towns so when you're going into them they're really tiny and you're not gonna you know going to one place you're not necessarily gonna find anything so what I'm doing today is that I'm going to go to a bunch of them so most of them are in the town and then like I can walk to them I'm parking the car here and then I'm gonna walk to all of them and then the other two I'm going to have to drive to I might just drive to one of them which would be a furniture place and the other is clothing and furniture um, but they're at completely different sides of town so I don't think I'm going to go to both also these are charity shops so they all support specific charities so You'll see that from the front. There's things like St. Vincent de Paul, um, NCBI, Irish Wheelchair Association, Irish Cancer Society. They're all different organizations like that. So I'm not looking for anything really, really specific today. There are always a couple of things that I'm looking out for, such as denim jackets, anything that's like linen fabric, um, and then, yeah, natural fiber type clothing. Um, prints that I really like I wear a lot of print so prints and then I'm such a sucker for homewares so usually um, I don't go to those places because um, my friends and family have abandoned me from going but I will be going to that today because I need to get some more storage for needlepoint stuff so that's really what we're looking for like we're just going for a general browse and I think that's kind of the best way to do it oh also knitwear and uh, knitwear is a big thing for me I live in Ireland in the west so like I need a lot of it and you can often get really good quality pieces second hand and fabric if there's anything fabric or um, a piece of clothing that has quite a lot of fabric that I could use for sewing that too so that's what we're looking for I won't be filming on this camera I'm gonna do like a little haul probably at the end but I won't be filming on this camera because as I said these shops are really really tiny so I you know it looks really sus to be filming in them to be honest um, and I don't really want to explain myself in every single one um, also I feel really bad for them because a lot of these shops deal with a lot of shoplifting so you know you don't want to be acting shady in any of them so um i'm just gonna be filming on my phone i'll get little clips probably outside each of the shops you'll see how small they are and yeah i might update when i get back to the car before i go to the other place but let's see if we can find anything fun So, I don't know if you can hear me because there's cars. I've been in three so far. And I only got one thing, but there's a weird story with it. I did try on a coat, but it didn't fit. It was too small, sadly. I'll insert a picture of it here. Uh, it was Quinn and Donnelly, and it was only 10 euro. It was so cute. Um, and I'm kind of looking for a lightweight coat like that. So, yeah, and then there was nothing in NCBI. Um, and I'm headed to, I can't remember which one it is now, but Hopefully there'll be something there. And then, is that it for town? Oh no, then I have a bit of a walk to the next one. And then we'll be back to the car, but not much today, but still plenty of places to try out. I'm a little bit windswept and back in the car. So not majorly successful so i ended up buying something in the st vincent de paul shop and in in irish wheelchair association which i've always had a good experience in there um not in clothing but in like other random home things so i ended up buying a dress and also a single sheet like a vintage looking sheet um it's really pretty i'll obviously show it to you in the hall afterwards 
but overall not a whole lot of stuff um i'll probably i don't know if i'll talk about this later but one thing i have noticed before but is really noticeable today is that i think because you know especially irish people love pennies obviously that's a very sweeping statement but in general um a lot of the stuff that's ending up in the charity shops is also pennies so it's not really anything beautiful or high quality or made with good materials it's just a whole lot of polyester so not fab um i did look at the men's shirts as well in uh, seat men's at all they had a really good selection of men's shirts but because you can't try things on right now um i just didn't want to do it uh not so much in the area of homewares but then the two places i'm going to go now i am actually going to go to both of them they both have like actual homeware places actually i think the irish wheelchair association does too but i forgot to go around the corner i'm gonna go to i bought a chair there one time so i'm gonna go to the other two places but uh a little brief sneak preview the dress i bought in the i'm literally sweating it's so hot in the car the dress i bought in the st vincent de paul shop oftentimes i would go into that shop and uh when i donate clothes it's usually between that and the one that my mom volunteers in uh which is the one i'm going to go to next and i've often in both of those shops come across stuff that i've donated i'm always like haha at least it's like good stuff because it's stuff they're putting out on the floor and i was going through the racks and i saw this dress and i was like oh that dress but when I saw it, I was like, wait. And I was like, oh, I forgot I donated that. And then I'm like, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> it's still listed on Depop. So I was confused. And I looked at the size because I knew that my one was a really small size. And that's why I'm getting rid of it. Because I adore it. But it's, yeah, it's a UK 6 or 8. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. There it is on Depop if you want to buy it. It's a yellow seersucker dress. And... I'm obsessed with it. It was originally from TK Maxx, but it, it didn't fit me when I bought it. Like, it barely fit me, and it definitely doesn't fit me now. It's the exact same dress with tags in a UK 10. So, I probably will do try-on clips of stuff. Um, and also, I got fabric from a sheet, and I need to, like, figure out some... My mom's going to kill me for doing that, but, like, I'm an adult. So, I don't care. Um, I'm also sewing tomorrow, so subscribe for sewing videos so now i'm gonna go to the claire haven horizons shop and then st vincent de paul furniture let's go so i actually decided to go to the just furniture place first not in focus the lighting's awful but uh this is yeah this is just the furniture place um because it made like geographically more sense it's a pretty big place so maybe i'll be able to film a little bit but I'm actually kind of looking for a lamp from a bedside table, so like a pretty short one, and then a um, some sort of storage, kind of vintagey looking storage, potentially for needlepoint stuff. So this is some spooky lighting, and uh, I'm gonna go in. Well, that was short-lived. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like, furniture and there's a lot of cute stuff in there but like for a house you know um i'll insert a video and pictures of the two beautiful dressing tables i saw but i do not have anywhere for them so that's that i guess and i'm gonna head over to the other place now i just need to figure out what way to go around the town to get there but yeah some really cute stuff but nothing that's gonna like work for me so I really love those dressing tables though. On to the next. On to the last. It has been quite the afternoon since I left the last place, but um, I also left my camera in my car, so I'm just gonna film this on my phone. So I ended up going to the last place and I looked at the furniture and there were lots and lots of linens there. Um, I'll insert a little photo here, but or a little video, but yeah, there wasn't anything um, that was really worth purchasing at the same time. And then I went into the clothing section and there was also nothing. So it was not the best day 
for looking at things like that. And then I hit my car on a construction sign on the way home and then I spilled Diet Coke on my white pants. So it's been a great day overall. I will show you the two things that I did pick up. So first of all, it was the dress that I already own, but I bought in two sizes larger than the one I own, which is amazing. Um, it is like a kind of a wider neck, uh, got little cap sleeves. It has a V at the back, which is cute. And yeah, it's a yellow and white gingham seersucker so love that it's kind of a bigger seersucker so hopefully that fits i still don't know if it's going to fit um because it has like it's a very small waist and very small across the back and under the arms so it might catch me around the bust um but we'll see and then the other thing i got which was only two euro was this vintage or not vintage but like it may be probably vintage honestly bed sheet um and it's this really pretty floral color color grayish color um really pretty it you know kind of smells like a charity shop so it's definitely i pre-wash all my fabric before i start cutting anyways but definitely gonna wash this but yeah i think it's originally a sheet and this was only two euro the dress was 10 because it has tags on but that charity shop was definitely the most expensive one um and then the other ones were all around the same kind of prices and then the fabric was really cheap in the Irish wheelchair association shop but um yeah there was nothing else so I didn't have the most successful day but at the same time I did get that dress so you know takes takes some wins takes a lot of losses um and yeah I'll probably do this again in a couple of weeks that's it I'm gonna be sewing with this fabric probably soon and I am sewing with some linen I'm gonna start cutting out pieces today, so subscribe to my channel to see that as well. Follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design, and I will see you in my next video.